is up all my tube Ubians. Welcome to another adventure. I'm getting some gas. I'm on my way south. I'm gonna head down towards the coast. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go head up high tide. I might do a little perch fishing, but I think I'll probably just go uh, try to suck up some shrimp and maybe catch some um, smelt or herring or sardines or something like that, do a little jigging. Hopefully we get into some fun. And uh, either way, if you're watching this, something probably happened. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Bam. What's up, everybody? Just got out here to the public crabbing pier. It is just about high tide, maybe a couple of minutes before technically high tide. And what I'm doing is I'm walking the pier, looking for some schools of bait fish. Uh, often right at high tide, in and around the piers and docks, you can find yourself a school of uh, sardines or smelt or herring or something like that. The river um, is looking a bit churned up, the bay I should say. It's kind of the mouth of the river and the, and the ocean meet here in the bay, you know what a bay is um, it uh, it's a bit turned up it hasn't been raining it hasn't been too gnarly out here the um, oceans really really flat so I'm kind of surprised that it is as milky as it is I was kind of hoping for clear waters make it a little easier to find these schools of bait if I uh, run into some sardines we'll put the ceviche jig on and we'll see what we can do um, every now and then I see what appears to be a, a bird dive over there those birds are diving. That means there's bait fish underneath. So we'll see what happens. Hey. Well guys, no sardines, but I got some swim baits and um, I've got some frozen sardine. I'm gonna walk out here on the end of the jetty and see if I can't get into a, uh, a fish while I'm waiting for Chris. It's a pretty beautiful day out here. I'm not expecting much, but rather hang out on the ocean than hang out in the van or hang out in the living room. So let's get out there and do some fishing. Fishing out here off the jetty, using bait um, and bottom bouncing or using a swim bait and just slowly retrieving it along the rock line is almost always gonna be your best bet for getting into some fish. Um, using a, um, a drop shot rig sticking a little plastic on there, sticking a little bait on there, bouncing that along the bottom of the jetty. Um, but there's a lot of other ways you can get into fish. You can catch fish on crankbaits and spinners. There's salmon coming in right now, so if you were throwing a big spinner, you might get into a salmon. Um, throwing some small swim baits, definitely a good chance of catching rockfish like that. So that's probably what we're gonna focus on, see if we can't get into a rockfish. But we could get into a nice lingcod. I'd be real happy with a lingcod also. And we might not catch anything. It'll just be a fun little afternoon hanging out on the jetty. Maybe cast a crab trap out. There's a lot of people crabbing out on the pier, but people are catching crab, like more crab than you usually see on just a random afternoon. Everybody's got a few in their bucket, so that's a good sign. Maybe it's a lively tide and we're gonna head out. Wow, look at all these seagulls. So I'm getting out here to this little spot. It's kind of a cool little spot on the jetty. As you can see, there's the inside that runs all the way along and circles back this way. And then there's this little kind of a T on the jetty right here. The jetty comes back from the parking lot over there. There's the public crabbing pier right there. And there's this little T on the end of the jetty. And um, I like to come out here when it's high tide and the tide's just starting to turn around and go back out a little bit and fish the outgoing drift. Um, to be honest, it doesn't produce a lot of fish. Like one of the reasons I'm like, hey guys, this is where I am, check out my spot. It's because there's nothing secret about this spot and it really doesn't produce a whole lot of fish. But um, I have caught fish here before. So we're gonna go see if we can do that right now. And I'm gonna go set up by this little patch of rocks over here by this stick. The stick look like looks like it's a nice little. That's my home base. So I believe the tide is as high as it's gonna get, and then I'm safe to just set up right here 
and get to fishing. So I'm gonna stick you guys on this rock right here and uh, I'm gonna get my gear set up and hopefully we can't get into a little action. Woo-wee! Well, if you guys watch the channel, you know that I love to wrap my swim baits up in some kind of other bait, squid or something. But when you don't have it, I just like to cover it in some kind of scent. This is the Procure Sardine Super Gel. And see how sticky it is and jelly it is? It's gonna really stay on there nice and decent. Some scents are real soft and just melt off, but that's gonna stick on there and give that some nice sardiney smell. Let's get that in the water. See if we can't get into a fish. In the run it's gonna to be totally whoa ha, it's gonna to be totally beautiful and chrome nice real early run fish so I'm super stoked on that I didn't expect to catch a salmon today I was just down here throwing throwing a little swim bait hoping to get into a rockfish or something like that so it'd be real cool to get into another fish I'm gonna keep uh, trying to catch a rockfish or a lingcod or something like that but how's that right there first coho of the season and it's a clipper yeah the fillets on this fish are going to be beautiful well you guys it's been super fun i think i'm gonna get out of here go link up with chris um get this fish on ice it's been a little while since i've seen any action out here so i'm gonna pack some stuff up and uh thanks for watching the bite hope you guys enjoyed this episode hit the little like button hit the little sub button check us out on instagram if you want to uh, support the channel at all you can check us out on patreon there'll be some links down below for some of the gear we use all kinds of lures rods swim baits all that kind of stuff any of that kind of gear that you purchase also helps out the channel so uh thanks for all the support you guys big ups thanks for watching stay tuned for more adventures for the bite Home sweet home on the road.